Praise the Lord, everyone. Brother Roop here. <clears throat> we are continuing the story of Saul's conversion and his early preaching in Damascus. Uh, earlier videos, you see that he uh, was converted, uh, was blind for three days, fasted and prayed the whole time. Uh, Brother Ananias came and uh, laid hands upon him and he was healed and he restored his eyesight and he started preaching that Jesus is the Christ he got a little little pushback from the Jews so he went to Arabia for um, two to three years he went to Arabia for a while probably to get himself focused and has some prayer time and because uh he was doing the persecuting before and now he's the one being persecuted so he's coming back to damascus but the jews there will have none of it and we read in <clears throat> this is acts chapter 9 verse 24 and it reads but their land of weight was known to saul and they and they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Well, we see him kill Stephen. We see him kill Jesus. So they're not, they don't mind killing folks. That's for sure. Um, so Saul came back to Damascus and they were waiting on him. Waiting on him to leave. Um. The design of the Jews against Saul is referred to. We can see it in uh, 2 Corinthians 11, 32 and 33. Where it says, I'll read it to you. In Damascus, the governor under Aretas, the king, kept the Damascenes with a garrison. Desirous to arrest me, apprehend me, and through a window in a basket... Was I let down by the wall and escaped his hands? Um, they got <clears throat> now cities back then were a little different than they are today. Today they're all open, you could drive in and out, roads everywhere. Uh, cities back then were surrounded by high walls for defense, and of course, the gates were presumed to be the only place of escape uh, they had supposed Paul uh, if he found out about designs would make an attempt to escape and they stationed guards at the gates to intercept him uh, in 2 Corinthians 11.32 it said that the governor kept the city for the purpose of apprehending him it is possible that the governor might have been a Jew and one therefore who would enter into their views or if not a Jew the, you know the Jews who were there might easily represent Saul as an offender to Rome or to the religion and demand him be arrested so that's probably why the guards were there at the gate but uh he was let down in a basket. You know, cities back then only had a few gates. <coughs> and traffic was going through them. And they get backed up. Especially if a, you know, a local farmer was herding a bunch of sheep through the gate for market. Uh, the, the gate could be backed up for a while. So what a lot of people did back then, if you had a, uh, 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 most people lived on the city walls themselves. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Pray for me, guys. Um, if you had an opening, a window, if you just needed some food, um, bought by a vendor, they would sometimes go around the city walls and, you know, they put food on the basket. 
set it up, then you'd send money down on the basket as payment. <coughs> Excuse me. All, all of a sudden, got a tickle in my throat. So, people with baskets going up and down the walls, that was, uh, that was kind of routine. There was a, a way of just avoiding going through a, a very busy, sometimes backed up city gate. If you just needed a few things, like from a vendor or... <clears throat> Or, uh, you know, your, your husband went and got some wood or something and, you know, he didn't want to go all the way around the gate. Because, you know, back those days you walked, you know, you didn't have cars, and <laughs> you walked. So if you had like a basket and go up and you could pull it up and down the uh, city wall to your house, uh, it was a lot easier. And uh, so Paul was laid out in one of those baskets. And that's what Christians back then and some places of the world today, that's what Christians have to go through. Um, and uh, Paul's learning to <laughs> avoid uh, people like he used to be. <laughs> Thank you. God bless.